What is going on lads? We are back with yet another video where today we're going to be taking a look at Subtactic. So thanks for all the support on the last video as well lads. A lot of questions coming in on the meta formations and the anti-meta formation and tactic videos. So I will do a couple of more of those and what I'm going to probably do is talk to a couple of guys um, that are you know top 10 in the world um, and a couple of pro players and get a couple of tips for you guys to improve your game a little bit as well. Because look I mean we're all still learning. We all have different ways of playing some people like to play out wide even though it doesn't really work and do tricks not looking at anybody in particular that don't really work and make a fool of yourself get caught in the break and get angry uh yeah but yeah otherwise like if you want to play the game and get results you do definitely need to check out my meta and anti-meta uh formation videos i will leave a link in the description below if i remember it i i always say i will but i never never usually do now i got a question in the other day off somebody on twitter right so if you do have any questions let me know in the comments below or over on twitter as well at pez universe um but we were talking about different kind of formations and different kind of like I suppose tips and tricks, right? So nine times out of 10, okay, you were going to run into somebody that will probably, well, I won't say nine times out of 10, I'll probably say maybe 75%. You're going to run into one of the most commonly used formations on the game and in probably any football game for the last 10 years, a 4-3-3. Now you can modify it in various different ways. Like you can probably, you know, you can play a 4-3-3 with like central players um, with two SSs. You can play out wide. Uh, with SSs or you can play with your wingers or you can play with a mixture of both um, whatever way you want to do it but for this formation right the reason we are playing this formation the way we're playing it is because we want to throw a bit of a curveball to somebody using sub tactic now I very very rarely see somebody use a sub tactic sub tactic against me but if I do see somebody using a sub tactic I always kind of look at the radar and try and figure out what he's actually doing but I think a lot of people don't use it because I think they just get into a rut of sitting back and I'm even I, I don't even use it most of the time but I have started to experiment it with a little bit so we're going to set up right and we're like just say like any traditional game we're setting up we're going to play an e-football league match right so from here I match up against this squad, right? It's a 4-3-3. You've got Makalele, Vieira. You've got Romario, Neymar, Ronaldinho. Yeah, we've seen it all before. Carlos, maybe I'll be able to exploit that area a little bit, right? But if you are playing as this team, you can kind of use that like against your opponent's like better judgment because they'll be thinking, okay, this guy's using long ball, quick count, long ball counter, and he has got one focal point of Romario. He's got a three-man midfield that's just going to be like solid, trying to block everything that they get. No real ball winners, no real like on-ball kind of like skill compared to Modric or somebody like that. So as I said, you can alternate this a little bit. If you wanted to bring in somebody like Modric or De Bruyne, you could put them in there um, depending on how much your play, play style is. As I said, my formation and my manager is for out wide. So that's why my team play style level is at 80. You do need it above 90 if you want to use these formations and all that but um that is completely up to you or you could even put Messi in here if you wanted to have a little bit of a mix and match right but when somebody sees a team like this they're going to think most of the time this guy's going to play 4-3-3 he's going to play out wide he's going to probably do a lot of skills he's going to try and bring his wingers into it but what we're going to do is we're going to start with this formation and then halfway through the first half maybe 15 minutes or so after a couple of attacks and we've seen what this guy is bringing against us is he a good player or whatever but traditionally we would like to do it ideally ideally before there's any goal scored unless we score one brilliant if we don't score one then we're going switching and what we're going to switch to is our sub tactic right now just before i do that this is the individual instructions i'm using with this base default formation of a 4-3-3 it's just a little bit more advanced i've got two cmfs one dmf two center backs and two full backs right so my individual instructions are as follows we've got the defensive on our dmf which is makalele and we have got our anchoring on Carlos, right? That'll stop him from bombing forward as much as we possibly need because we have got Neymar on the wing. But what we're going to do with the sub tactic is we're going to modify all the positions here and really confuse our opponents. So this guy is thinking, right, Neymar's on the left wing, Ronaldinho's on the right wing, Grant, I can deal with that. And then Kimmich is obviously right back, Carlos is left back, I can deal with that. Boom. With the sub tactic, we've completely transformed our like team shape, our style, our breakdown of play, our passing options, our range of options that we can pass into, the different linkages that we can have. Now, what I've done here is if you go back to this screen, right, the three big changes I've made here are push Carlos up from left back to left mid, practically like a left winger. 
Kimmich into a more advanced role, but not too advanced. We've moved McAleel and Vieira back central. And then we've also put Alaba back as a third CB. So if we were going to start, there's a reason why Alaba is here as CMF. He's one of the only players that can play defensively and play central midfield um, or left midfield as well if we wanted to change that. So say we start and... Um, for instance, Alaba or Carlos is down. We can rotate those players in because we're going to be switching with the sub tactic. But for Alaba here to work it, right? If we were going to do this formation, you're thinking, oh, well, why not put in Modric in there, right? When we switch to our sub tactic, Modric is going to be back center back. So that creates a problem. Do we put Vieira back there? Do we put Makalele back there? It creates a small bit of an issue. If similarly, we start our CB here, Maldini, He's going to say, oh, I mean, he's obviously going to do something here because he's definitely not going to play Maldini CMF. Now, we might get away with a DMF. You might get away with a DMF. But I think a good player, especially up to divisions, will probably smell something fishy if you have a CB like Maldini that's not known for his passing ability or anything like that. I'm very nasally. I think he'll come down with a chest infection or a cold or something. But yeah, we keep grinding. So I would definitely kind of have a little bit of a, a mix mixture in the bag here of having Alaba because Alaba is 91 overall. And yes, you could potentially be playing him as a centre-back, but he does have build-up as his player skills there, or his player AI skill, and he also has incredible player skills, true pass and pinpoint cross and one-touch pass, weighted pass. So we are able to kind of get away with that. There is a couple of other players you could get away with it as well that can play CB, like Barrios or somebody like that. But Alaba, I think, is the perfect. He is top five to me and I think to most people that play it as well, and he's just an absolute beast that dominates any position. So when we switch to that... A sub tactic, we're going to take Ronaldinho in from the right wing into AMF. We're going to put Carlos and Kimmich up as our left and right midfielders that will be getting back. We have two men up front of Neymar and Romario. We have our back three and our back two in central midfield. So our team play style is going to stay the same, but our individual instructions are going to slightly change and alter, right? So we're going to put Ankren on Carlos. That follows through right so what we want to do is we want literally we want Carlos to stay in his position we can bring him back manually and chase back he's got serious stamina so he'll be able to do that if we're using another left back like Davies Alfonso Davies or somebody like that we could still do that if we're using Alaba we can still do that we might need to look at that anchoring there second up we're going to keep a Vieira and we're going to put him as an offensive CMF because we do want to kind of bombard forward and get kind of like really confuse our opponent as to what he's doing so Vieira was defensive in a defensive minded role in the last formation the default formation but now he's gotten CMF and then counter target is going to go on Neymar because we don't want Neymar coming back we want Neymar as our main focal point to actually put the ball into and then also we can either put counter target on uh, Ronaldinho if we want to keep a three man option up front or else we can put deep line on Kimmich uh, or Makalele depending on which way you want to do it we already have it on Makalele there so we could put it on Kimmich if we want to have that more defensive side of the pitch a little bit more solid at the back and turn us into a bit of a fortress so let me know what you guys think I don't see a lot of people using sub tactic and obviously it is something that you could look at if you are finding to have the edge on a really good opponent even going in at half time and having a backup plan with the sub tactic here, right? We start off at a 4 3 3. We could very, very easily modify this, like very simply, that even if we don't want to put Alaba there, we just want to keep a four, a four at the back. We could keep this very, very solid where we could push Alaba up into a more central position. We could put Neymar out here. We could switch wings. We can have Kimmich back here. And we could do that very, very simply. And that means that when this player is like looking at us, we're very central and we've moved Neymar out to the right wing or we've moved him to SS. Obviously, he's on the opposite wing. You know what I mean? We can do this very, very easily so that if this player is man marking Neymar or he's trying to trying to focus on the left side of the pitch to cut down Neymar or the right side of midfield to cut down Neymar's influence we can switch it up and if he's going to be man marking we're going to drag him out of positions but we will do that in another video as well so that is it for me lads hope you enjoy these videos let me know and if you want to subscribe I'd really appreciate that a massive giveaway coming at 20,000 followers and subscribers 20,000 subscribers I should say so yeah I will talk to you later peace